Hello, so this is another video that I'm making. Um, the last one I just made was regarding uh, healthy breakfasts and how to meal prep and make things easier for yourself so you're able to, oh God, sorry, my hair looks really bad. All right, I'm not stopping it, I'm just doing this, okay. So um, anyways, what I'm doing now is Julian's heading home for lunch and usually we'll eat like, um, now that the baby's here, he's not eating lunch at work. So a lot of times we're not making lunch and bringing it with him anymore because he comes home to see the baby, which is really cool. But we still eat healthy at home. So what I'm doing is I'm actually gonna make a tuna fish sandwich. Typically, I, I love mayonnaise, um, especially when I was pregnant. It was really hard for me not, to, I loved creamy stuff. I really craved it and it was hard for me to stay away from it, but I, I ate mayonnaise. I would do like the olive oil mayonnaise, the healthier stuff. But I'm really trying to just cut that out. We don't eat a lot of mayonnaise anyways, but it's just really fucking bad for you, dude. There's just nothing good about it. So I was trying to look online today with a tuna fish sandwich. I, when I was a kid, we always put mayonnaise in it. <clears throat> just It was mayonnaise and celery, and you always had to have mayo. Um, if I eat tuna with like canned, excuse me, canned tuna with a salad, we'll do oil and vinegar and stuff like that. But on a sandwich, I'm like, I really want to have that creamy texture still, but not mayo. So what do I do? So I Googled it, and... Pretty much like everything else that's come with like some sort of creamy texture that mayo gives you that you, when you don't want to use mayo, they recommend yogurt. And I should have known better. I should have been like, oh yeah, duh. Because I've even made like a vegetable dip instead of using sour cream. I will use Greek nonfat yogurt. Um, I'll use that for anything. Um, this I get from Aldi's, once again, dirt cheap. If you go to like fucking Publix or when, uh, Wegmans or wherever you are in the country, um, yogurt's expensive, like especially like if it's Greek and I'm looking for non-fat Greek yogurt. I don't want flavors in it. I'm looking for, uh, uh, this is zero fat. Um, and then the sugars are only five grams of sugar. I constantly am always looking at yogurt's sugar. You always got to pay attention to that because sometimes yogurt, you know, you don't want stuff with aspartame and all this other crap in it. Mine, there's nothing of that in here. And this is again, all these friendly farms brand. It's Greek non-fat yogurt, plain. So it doesn't taste like anything. So you can use this as a creamy base for your vegetable dip. Like if you wanna have a healthy vegetable dip as a snack, you add like those little seasoning, Italian seasoning packets or whatever to, um, or your ranch uh, seasoning packet. It's all just seasoning that you add to a sour cream typically. Um, or you would buy a jar of the, the dip at a, at a store. My mom always made it with sour cream. She'd get the low fat sour cream and put these like Italian seasoning or ranch uh, seasoning packets and then that's how we would eat a uh, veggie dip and because it, it was cheaper and it was semi healthier. Um, I loved that, but it's so bad for you. So instead you can use plain yogurt because there's no flavor in it and then add those seasoning packets and it's a way healthier um, thing that you can dip your, your celery, your peppers, your, your uh, carrots or whatever in and then it's a good snack and it's not just boring. Um, so that's one uh, snack tip for you. But anyways, so I looked online and I saw that there's a tuna salad recipe that uses yogurt. It also uses an avocado, but I don't have an avocado today. So typically I just wing shit around, you know, like if I don't have everything in a recipe, I figure it out. And I'm like, well, I'll exchange this for this. And I just kind of make up, I'm not going to not use the recipe. I'm just going to try to utilize what I have at home and try to make what they say. So I don't have an avocado, which is a great alternative to mayonnaise too, uh, but I don't have it today, but I do have the yogurt. So I'm gonna use the yogurt. And then I have, again, we're doing tuna salad sandwiches. And then I have canned tuna. Um, it's not an oil, it's in water. Only buy it in water, okay? Or it's really bad for you. Um, I got can two cans of tuna for our sandwiches. I have two celeries chopped up. Okay, you can use as many celeries. And then I have an onion, I got a red onion, and I cut up, you know, a couple chunks of it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna dice it up even smaller. I have a little bit of lemon juice, okay? And then the recipe also called for a smidge of like mustard, but it was like a special mustard, and I'm like, I, I got mustard. But I was thinking, well, mayonnaise kinda has sometimes like a sweetness to it, so I'm gonna use honey mustard. So, what, and then also a little bit of salt. So again, I'm gonna make a tuna salad that's gonna be a little bit healthier with no mayonnaise. I've never done this before, by the way. I'm going to do, once again, some non-fat. And you can just, don't worry about measuring. How, how, you know, do you measure mayonnaise? You just plop it in there. I don't even know how much I'm gonna fucking put in there. So yogurt, I'm gonna throw some mustard, which you can use whatever you want. I'm using honey mustard, two cans of tuna. I got an onion, you can cut up as much as you would like. I'm, I just cut up a couple slices 
I got two full things of celery chopped up in there. Once again, salt. I got some nice, uh, just whatever, salt. And then I'm gonna do a splash of lemon juice, which is like splash. If you really wanna measure it, I don't know. I'm just gonna splash it in there. So that's what we're gonna do. And then I'm going to, um, I'm gonna, I don't know, I can't really pause this, but what I'll do is I'll put it together and then post a picture of it after the fact. Um, but there you go, that's an alternative to uh, tuna without mayonnaise, non-fat, plain yogurt. I think you can pretty much use that as a substitute for anything creamy, again, like your vegetable dips, use this instead. And then it's not bad for you. Um, and this, you know, cause yogurt's good. It's really good for you. If you get the plain, uh, zero fat and low sugar. Um, what else do I want to say? I think that's pretty much it. So healthier alternative to tuna salad, yogurt, not mayonnaise.